Hello everyone, welcome to GS Podcast. Today we are going to understand what is integrated farming system. So in India, small and marginal farmers are the core of Indian rural economy, constituting about 85% of the total farming community, but they are possessing only 44% of the total operation land for their farming. Also, Indian agriculture is labor oriented and it requires lot of manpower and energy. But even after this hard work, farmers are not in position to earn their livelihood, especially those small and the marginal farmers. So to fulfill basic needs of these farmers, the integrated farming system approach seems to be the possible solution for food and nutrition income stability and livelihood upliftment particularly for these small and the marginal farmers so in this video we are going to understand in detail what is integrated farming system what are the advantages of this farming system especially for the small and the marginal farmers next we will also discuss the various challenges that are involved in this integrated farming system and after that we will also discuss what are the steps or measures that can be taken to address these challenges of integrated farming system and finally we will discuss a main question with the answer writing approach so let's begin now let's understand what is integrated farming system so at present the farmers concentrate mainly on the crop production which is subjected to a high degree of uncertainty in income and the employment to the farmers and in this context it is imperative to evolve a suitable strategy for augmenting the income of a farm so the integration of various agricultural enterprises such as cropping animal husbandry fishery forestry etc have a great potential in the agricultural economy as these enterprises not only supplement the income of the farmers but they also help in increasing the family labor employment and in integrated farming system agriculture is integrated with livestock poultry and fishery for the better outcomes and the whole setup is maintained at the same place to generate employment and the income so the integrated farming system is a combined approach aimed at the efficient sustainable resource management for increased productivity in the farming system now integrated farming system approach has multiple objectives such as it introduces a change in the farming techniques for maximum production in the farming pattern and it also takes care of optimal utilization of the resources second one is the farm waste are better recycled for the productive purposes in the integrated system and recycling of farm resources reduce the input cost and it also improve quality of the produce and ensures farm sustainability further a combined approach of agricultural enterprises like dairy poultry fishery sericulture etc which are suited to the given agroclimatic conditions and socio economic status of the farmers would bring prosperity in the farming community so integrated system is a well accepted strategy for harmonizing joint management of land water vegetation livestock and human resources and if it is implemented well it can lead to a quantum jump in the sustainable productivity and ensuring better livelihood securities to the people now let's understand this system with an example of integrated fish duck farming so raising ducks over fish ponds fits very well with the fish polyculture system as the ducks are highly compatible with the cultivated fishes 
and this system is highly advantageous to the farmers in several ways so in this system ducks serves as bio aerators as they swim play and chase in the pond they disturb the surface of the pond which facilitates the aeration of the water also duck fertilizes the pond by their droppings or waste when given free range over the pond surface and ducks have been termed as manuring machines for their efficient and labor saving method of pond manuring which results in the complete saving on pond fertilizer and supplementary fish feed which nearly accounts for the 60% of the total cost in the conventional fish culture also duck houses are constructed on ponds hence no additional land is required for the duck activities and ducks can get most of their total feed requirements from the pond in the form of aquatic weeds insects larvas earthworms etc so in this way cost of feeding can be reduced so this arrangement saves extra money for the farmers so this is an example of fish duck integrated farming system now let's discuss the overall advantages of integrated farming system so first one is economic activity so it provide an opportunity to increase economic yield per unit area by intensification of crop and allied enterprises especially for the small and marginal farmers and due to interaction of these enterprises integrated farming system provides flow of money round the year among the farming community now second one is reduced use of fertilizers so it has the capability to make the farming sector profitable by reducing the use of chemical fertilizers and recycling nutrients third one is environmentally sustainable so in this arrangement the by product of one subsystem works as an input for the other subsystem making it environmentally sustainable for example manure from cattle can be used as a fertilizer to enhance the soil fertility for the agriculture moreover a integrated farming system in this system components are known to control weed and it regarded as an important element of integrated pest management and thus it minimize the use of weed killers as well as pesticides and thereby protects the environment now fourth one is recycling so effective recycling of products by products and waste materials in the integrated farming system is the cornerstone behind the sustainability of the farming system as it ensures reduced dependency on the external inputs like fertilizers and pesticides now fifth one is resource management so it also promotes the efficient management of resources and this enhances the productivity of the farming and this integrated farming system also promotes for rejuvenation of system productivity and to achieve agroecological equilibrium so these are the advantages of the integrated farming system now let's move on to understand some of the challenges involved in this system so integrated farming system can help to improve the income and nutritional security of the farmers but it has several challenges as well which are given as follows so here first one is affordability so due to financial reasons or constraints small and marginal farmers cannot afford large cattle so we have to encourage small ruminants such as goats and sheep for the integrated farming system 
now second challenge is acceptance so there is hesitation among the farmers particularly in non coastal areas to adopt fisheries poultry duck rearing because of lack of awareness and role models and also due to some religious perceptions now third one is some farm produce is not under minimum support price such as mushroom farming and bee keeping are not covered under the minimum support price so better integration with the food processing industries and hotel industries is therefore necessary for the income generation of the farmers so these are some of the challenges and limitations of the integrated farming system now let's see what are the steps or what can be done to address these challenges so first one is integrated subsistence agriculture so indian farmers in many regions such as northeastern part practice subsistence agriculture and they also have a rich traditional base in water harvesting soil management etc so this model could be efficiently utilized under the integrated farming system as well as for increasing the farm productivity now second one is encouraging livestock enterprises so combining crops with livestock enterprises would increase the labor requirement significantly and it would help in reducing the problems of underemployment and unemployment to a great extent also integrated farming system provides enough scope to employ family laborers round the year for the maximum outcomes now third one is building farmer capacities so all the stakeholders should make continuous efforts to build farm capacities for the adoption of productive remunerative eco friendly and self sustaining integrated farming system so these are some of the steps that can be taken to address the challenges of integrated farming systems okay now let's see a question which have been asked in upsc exam so the question is how far is the integrated farming system is helpful in sustaining agricultural production so this is a 10 marker question and you have to write it in 150 words so let's see how uh, we can approach this question so first of all try to give a brief introduction about integrated farming system secondly you can mention the role of integrated farming system in sustaining the agricultural production so here you can write the advantages of the integrated farming system as we have already discussed next you can mention the various challenges and limitations associated with the integrated farming system and finally you can conclude by explaining the various steps or measures that can be taken to address these challenges so in this way you can structure and write your answer okay now if you have any doubt regarding this question or you want to add some more points to it please write it in the comment section you can also download the pdf for this topic from the description box and stay tuned with us for such more interesting geos topics till then thank you everyone and have a nice day